Hey guys, Richard Holder here for Speed Secrets, brought to you by the guys at Speedmaster. Now for this episode, the guys at Speedmaster asked me if I was interested in running Boost on a small block Chevy. They tried to say a bunch more, but I stopped them and said, hey, you had me at Boost. Now believe it or not, there are a number of guys out there who are not interested in maximizing the power output of their supercharged combination. For them, it's all about the look and feel of a supercharged small block, without any of the drivability issues. For others, it's all about maximum power, baby. Well, guess what? Here at Speed Secrets, we're testing both. But before we get to that, let's take a look at all those cool components offered by Speedmaster, then jump into our first test motor. Now that we know what the plan is, let's get going. The great thing about a supercharged application, changing the boost and power is as easy as swapping out the pulleys. Of course, no blower motor would be complete without a cool scoop. After taking a look at that supercharger and all those cool accessories, Man, we were psyched about building Boost, but as always, we needed a test motor. We purposely chose this mild iron-headed small block crate motor from GM Performance for a good reason. First of all, it's a small block Chevy, so that's always a good start. But this combination also featured four bolt mains for improved strength and a low eight to one static compression ratio, making it ideal for a supercharged combination. Now the small combo may not produce huge power numbers, but it is ideal for anybody wanting the look and feel of a supercharged small block for those car shows, cruise nights, or any daily driven hot rod. Now that we've got our test motor, let's pop it on the dyno. Because our crate motor came as a long block, we had to add a few components. Speedmaster supplied a dual plane intake, distributor, and a neutral balance dampener. To that, we added a 650 Holley carburetor, a set of headers, and an electric water pump. The idea was to break the motor in, then get some power numbers before we installed the supercharger. With everything ready, let's see how she does. Well, we finished the break-in and dyno testing and everything worked great. According to GM, if you add the right carburetor intake and headers to this crate motor, you should make about 260 horsepower. Since we made 270, we know that everything is in working order. Now that we've got a healthy customer, let's add some boost. Well, we've got the 671 dual quads and all those cool accessories installed on our crate motor. With everything ready, let's build some boost. As we can see from the dyno results, adding those Speedmaster components and 671 blower to this mild GM crate motor increased the power output by over 100 horsepower but you don't think we're done there, right? Now this mild combination might provide the look and feel of a supercharged small block, but what about a guy that wants the power? Check out what happens when we install all of these components on an even wilder stroker motor. Okay, we're back on the dyno with round two. This time we're armed with a 372 inch stroker motor. Compared to that mild GM crate motor, this stroker offers more cam, cube, and compression. Heck, it's got more of everything. This thing makes almost twice what that GM crate motor makes. So the plan is run the motor normally aspirated, install the blower, and build that boost. Well, 
we finished the dyno testing of our supercharged stroker and the results are impressive. Equipped with the components from a Speedmaster combined with boost from a 671 supercharger, this 372 produced, appropriately enough, 671 horsepower. And that's at just seven pounds of boost. There's a lot of power left in this combination. Add more engine speed or boost, and this thing will easily take you over 700 horsepower. But that's not really the point. What we wanted to show is this package is equally at home on a mild GM crate motor as it is on a supercharged stroker. I'm Richard Holder. Thanks for joining me on a boosted episode of Speed Secrets.